Saw 10 is the untold story of the Jigsaw Killer getting payback against a group of con artists. Is it a fresh take on the franchise or is it just another stinker? So for me to best review this movie, I'm going to talk about the franchise as a whole and how this movie stacks up against the others. I have seen all of the Saw movies with the exception of Spiral, but from what I understand, that one was just a spinoff. Now, having seen all the other Saw movies, I do want to clarify that I would not consider myself a Saw fan. I did like the first one when I saw it years ago, but each one that I've seen since then has, in my opinion, been subpar at best or utter garbage at worst. Between lopsided performances and overly convoluted schemes, I think it's fair to say that the franchise up to this point just hasn't really been that amazing. Throughout its lifespan, the number one thing that has kept it afloat has been the traps. You could say that Jigsaw is the star of these movies, but I don't agree with that. The main thing keeping our interest in this movie is the suspense of watching how the traps play out. We are often wondering while watching, what would I do if I were in this situation? Or are they going to survive? These notions alone keep the movies interesting even when they're otherwise not very good. I do really appreciate that this movie was about an untold chapter in Jigsaw's life as opposed to just continuing to make more movies about him post-mortem. I found it ridiculous for them to continue making more of these obvious after-the-fact write-ins about more of his accomplices that we just conveniently never knew about prior, or overly convoluted schemes that no real person would ever plot in expecting us to be compelled. I can suspend my disbelief in a lot of things to enjoy a movie, but I have a really hard time suspending my disbelief in pretty much all of Jigsaw's post-death machinations. I know that I might be offending some diehard Saw fans here, and I'm sorry, but it's been hard for me to stay positive about a franchise that has just continued to run well past the finish line. So with all that said, let's talk about Saw 10. In this movie, John Kramer, aka Jigsaw, gets word of a special cancer treatment that could end up saving his life. After paying this medical team to save his life, he later finds out that it was all actually a scam, and so he rallies them all up for his most personal game of the series. So this movie was actually more focused on John Kramer outside of the games than any other Saw movie, which I personally really liked. He really did feel so much more like a human being in this movie because of that. Tobin Bell really stole the show here, more so than The Traps. Unlike most Saw movies, jumping into the big game pretty quickly, this one kind of took its time a little bit since they had to show us all the events leading up to it. For that reason, I could actually see fans of the franchise who are more in it for the gore being a little bit disappointed in this one. And maybe I personally am just a little bit desensitized by the suspense of the traps, or maybe they are just losing their thunder because honestly, I felt that they were a little bit disappointing in this one. Amanda's back for this movie, and I personally thought that she was kind of lame. She was probably my least favorite part of the movie. Pretty much every time she started talking, I kind of just kept thinking, eh, I, I kind of wish she'd just shut up. Otherwise, I thought the rest of the cast was fine. As I mentioned earlier, these movies tend to have pretty uneven performances, so I'm happy to at least say that nobody's acting in this movie made me roll my eyes. This story takes place between the first two Saw movies, so knowing that and knowing how Saw movies tend to play out, I personally thought the ending was just kind of predictable. So there's really not much more for me to say about this movie without entering spoiler territory. Again, John Kramer was the movie. Everything else was fine, and therefore, I'll say that the movie was fine. If you consider yourself a fan of the Saw franchise, then you'll probably enjoy this one. If you're not already into these movies, I don't think the 10th installment is gonna be the one to lure you in, so I'd probably just sit this one out. But if you've got friends that invited you to go see it and you've got nothing else to do, you might enjoy this one. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this review. If you found it insightful at all, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow. I'll see you later this week with my review of The Kill Room.